Alright, working out in Middlesex. I always say it's my last day out here, but I never recorded these cool little buildings here. Well, that's one that ain't just a house, but these couple are pretty cool. Old fashioned uh, mercantile or store. Here's the old town hall, but that ain't that old. Uh, but this old building here, so close to the road, the old country store it's called, but you can see it says something up on the top there. Of course, it's modernized now a little bit, but this old cars, used cars, no parking at all, except right there, the old garage doors. Oh, I gotta go up this hill. This guy's been going to go here. We got these old houses here, this old uh, house that's down up lower than the road, and that one there, that old repair shop, like a gas station with a thing right up to the edge of the road almost, that overhang is. That old house lower than the road. So now I'm going right up out of town here. Wow, yeah, right up. This is a steep grade up ahead. <laughs> As the song says. The colors are changing a little more. The leaves are coming down. It's kind of sad. And yeah, I went my back lawn yesterday and just smelled like fall, you know, in New York State with all the leaves coming down. Oh, gotta close my window over there. So yeah, we've had a two or three days, three days at least of frost in the morning, so that really changes things after uh, a few days. It keeps, you know, I think that's what does it, you know, when that frost hit. So that's, I guess that's what I give it credit to. Then the leaves start to change and fall, and so yeah, it's, fall's in the air here. Um, not always a fan of it. I'm really not a fan of leaves because it's in all my landscapes at home, but uh, which is annoying. Uh, blow all the leaves up. But yep, almost the top of this hill. 11 o'clock, Monday the 28th. Uh, got my little cam here. You just touch, it's got a touch screen button underneath it. Kind of called the top. I got it upside down. You see, my box is empty there, <laughs> and uh, works pretty slick. Uh, I wish it would just stay on, but what's nice about it is there's absolutely it is truly wireless. I mean, there's always wireless systems, but the what videos wireless. You still got to put power always to the camera. This does not need a power wire, so that's what makes it truly easy to install. Um, I mean, I basically gorilla taped it in the back of my box. Normally, a wireless system isn't wireless. It may not have a wire for video, but it's got a wire for power, and I don't have power at the top of my box. And I should, but I don't yet, so it's not easy to put power up there. It's a big run. You gotta go down the whole bottom of the box, then up the bottom of the box. Down the whole frame, up from the up the whole box, and fish it around through, wired it in. So I'm not ready to do that because when I do that, I'm doing a bunch of wiring. Um, at least six wires I need up there for turn signals. I need uh, power for the camera, and I need uh, power for uh, just tail lights, power. So. <clears throat> And I need power for the oil, uh, the tarp, which I did already put up there, but that was a separate run in it. So, so yeah. Oh, it's getting really long. Wow, that's stupid. It'll take you forever to upload this down, but that's it. Go back down to Potter.